Welcome to the tour of the South Texas Archives. We are a division of the James C. Jernigan Library at Texas A&M University of Kingsville. The Archives is the official depository for university historical documents and a collector of significant South Texas history, including rare books, paintings, artifacts, maps, and many other document types. Many of the materials in our collection are decades old and we aim to keep these more fragile items, as well as newer additions, in good condition for decades to come. To ensure the longevity of our materials, visitors follow a cleansing and safety process before they can handle archive items. The first step is to find what you were interested in using the URL archives.tamuk.edu and making an appointment by email or phone. Before heading out, please review the policies at URL Archives, period, T-A-M-U-K, period, E-D-U, forward slash policies, period, P-H-P. The library is located northeast of College Hall. The South Texas Archives is located in the library on the third floor, on the east side of the building. This is the public viewing area. Here is where patrons handle material. It is crucial that the space remain clean, so no food, pens, or drinks are allowed. Everything must be handled with care and with preservation in mind. Once you arrive, sign in. All bags and backpacks must be placed in this area. We ask that everyone thoroughly wash their hands before putting on gloves. Hands contain oils that will slowly destroy paper, ink, and other materials over time. The gloves are an important part of preservation. Handling our historical materials can be a powerful experience where a connection to history can literally be felt. The space behind these double doors is for library personnel only. The first room is the processing room. This is where materials are boxed and accessed. Some archival items require extra attention, like the freezer, where mold and other potential contaminants are controlled. Among other things, the fridge stores 35 mm football film suffering from vinegar syndrome. All areas of the archives have extra temperature and humidity gauges to control any potential growth of mold or corrosive reactions. The Kennedy Room contains the collection of the same name. We received the collection in these beautiful chests. The items are now stored in appropriate, non-toxic boxes and processed. The South Texas Archives primarily stores document materials, but we do preserve a few other types of artifacts. The bulk of our preserved materials is stored in the back room. Here, we have rows of rare books, large printed files, paintings, oral histories, maps, Colson Annotated Bibliography Collection, and so much more. The Colson Special Collection is located in two places. One section contains the handwritten cards Dr. Colson created. His meticulous work is what gives this bibliography its amazing quality for new researchers, as well as enabling discovery of less explored parts of Texas history. The second section features the rare books, included as citations in his records. The large print storage area has maps, posters, floor plans, and more. An easy starting point for Texas research is to grab an old map, find a named collection, and follow the threads while searching for related materials. Thank you for joining us on the tour of the South Texas Archives. We are proud to preserve the history of South Texas and share what we have with students and researchers. Okay.